Welcome, 206. Welcome to Guerrilla Radio. We're talking about the Alexandria shooting. Austin is David Malakar. How are you? Mr. Malakar, good to have you, buddy. Welcome to the show, David. I did want to chime in. What's your thoughts? Yes, I did want to chime in on this. This is all part of their plan. They have created such a divide through the mainstream media over the last eight months and even further during the 2016 election. They have been creating this mindset to the masses that worship and watch the mainstream media and think that it's the absolute truth that anyone that is not having this extremist far left SJW uh, fourth wave feminism ideologies in their mind they consider all those people a white supremacist, a Nazi, any derogatory term you can think of that is not relevant. I mean, as you know, obviously, as a Native American myself, I have had people call me those things as well, and it's absolutely absurd. It's like, uh, are you blind? Can can you take a look for me and, and tell me how this Native guy who's who's against oppressive government is a white supremacist? It's like they're doing is they're conditioning everyone to split. So they've been very successful, as you can see. So now we have this shooting. We've got all these other Antifa and these rallies, like most recently with the anti-Sharia law rallies that was going on across the country in Seattle. It was a madhouse. They were attacking people that were standing up for the rights of LBGT. They were standing up for people, uh, for women. You know, the Sharia law, while it's not a governmental uh, policy, it is a community-based guideline that is enforced within the communities that have it. So you're basically approving of people getting executed for their sexual orientation, amongst other things, stoning, all these other crazy things normal people from the Islamic community don't approve of, and when they come to this country, they're escaping from it, and they don't want to be, you know, face that here. So right. they're basically preparing us for civil war. They've created the divide where it's left versus right, and they're forcing people to take a side. Like, you don't have a choice. You're being forced into a side, and they've been preparing for this for years. You know as well as I do from CIA, CIA documents that they have anticipated a civil war. They've been intentionally creating this divide on purpose because it takes all the attention off of them. No one's paying attention to the neocons and dem hawks in office. No one's paying attention to the croniest bankers that are influencing the politics. Everyone has forgotten about the elite that has been dividing us, and we're attacking ourselves instead of attacking them in this moment in time in history that all of us should be united against them considering how much has already been exposed. We know about the deep state. It's common information. There's no reason why we should be attacking and killing each other other than for them to say, you guys need to be divided, fight each other, kill each other off, and then we'll swoop in and save the day with more uh, surveillance state, with more militarized police state, more government. You're going to be safe under us because you're a bunch of cattle that can't handle itself, so we have to herd you for you. Right, exactly. 